OK, so let's try a couple more quick examples of finding inverses of functions where you're just given the function. Suppose you were given f of x equals x to the fourth. Well, you could just think of that as being you know, y equals that, flipping the roles of x and y. And so you're saying y to the fourth equals x. And now you want to solve that. That would require you to take the fourth root of both sides. But actually, again, we're going to have this plus or minus problem. Plus or minus problem because it's an even. It's an even power. So therefore, this actually has no inverse. Another way of seeing that is just to think of the graph of this. The graph of y equals x to the fourth is very much like a parabola. It's a little bit exaggerated. So instead of being nice and smooth, it's, a li it's still smooth, but it just has a little bit more extreme features. You could plot points to see, in fact, this is reasonably accurate. And then you can immediately see that, in fact, this is not one to one. It fails the horizontal line test, no enchilada, as they say. Where do they say that, by the way? I don't know. I say it. So as I say, I should say. I should say as I say. I say. I'm oh, sorry. All right. So <laughs> it's getting to the end of the day here. All right. So f of x equals, let's try this one, x cubed minus 7. Well, first, let's just see if, um, if we have any hope of having this thing have an inverse or not. Let me sketch the graph of this, because it's also a good little re refresher as to um, what that may look like. So let me sketch it this way, in fact. So um, well, what we're doing here, basically, and you'll notice that now my sketches are going to become a little bit rough, because all I care about is this notion of one-to-oneness. So you know, what does it look like? Well, first, I'll just graph the x cubed. That one's one that I hope that you're familiar with. Comes up, goes over, comes down. It's an odd function. And what does minus 7 do? That shifts everything down 7 units. So I just shift the whole thing down 7 units. So take the whole picture, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So this shifts down 7 units. But you can see that the shifting doesn't change anything with respect to 1 to 1-ness. This really is 1 to 1. Right? It really is 1 to 1. So in fact, this should have an inverse function. How would I find it? I'd switch the roles of x and y. So I'd have x equals y cubed minus 7 and try to solve for y. So I'd see y cubed equals x plus 7. And now I could take the one take the cube root of both sides. Now cube roots are completely fine to take because they can be taken of positive or negative things and you only get one answer. So in fact cube roots, no problem. Cube root of x plus 7. And so in fact this would be f inverse of x if this were f of x. So here's an example where we could find it. So cube roots, no problem taking. If you're taking even roots, like square roots or fourth roots, you always have to worry about plus or minus. Those functions, in fact, do not have inverses. You know what? That's all I have to say about this. So I think I'm just going to stop right here. <laughs>